Remember, subscribe to Madden Joe if you want to see more Madden. Subscribe to Midnight Blue if you want to see more of my Let's Plays. Yo, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King Johnson 4, and today I will be listing my top 5 Call of Duty submachine guns of all time. At number 5, we got the Vector CRB from Call of Duty Ghost. The reason why the Vector CRB made it into my top 5 list because the way I had to set it up, all the perks were speed perks. It was the quick draw, sleight of hand, quick aim, you name it. Every single speed perk out there, it was introduced into the Vector CRB. And also it had the rapid fire and the silencer so I can stay stealthy while killing the enemy ASAP. And also it brought me back a lot of memories from my Black Ops 1 days and Modern Warfare 3 days. And another thing guys that you need to know, I was set back 1.5 seconds every time I played the game of Call of Duty Ghosts, even though I had the wired connection set 100%. So, I was in a huge disadvantage 24-7 while playing Call of Duty Ghosts. So it was really surprising if I even get 20 kills on the game because I was in a huge disadvantage most of the time. When I created this class, I pretty much prevented myself from getting kills from those seconds. So it ended up in my top 5 list because I ended up creating one of the best guns for 1v1 situations. It's really sad that the Vector CRB was in this game because the game sucked. I really wish it was in the Modern Warfare 3 game because it would have done a lot more better in that game than this, in this pathetic game called Call of Duty Ghost. At number 4, we got the Scorpion Evil from Black Ops 2. The reason why the Scorpion Evil made it into my top 5 list is because the weapon was just tremendous. It was just amazing. It was a total mass destruction weapon because the amount of damage it did towards an enemy it was just amazing. I mean, I only had to spend like at least 7 to 8 bullets per mag to kill an enemy, so I can take at least 4 to 5 enemies with one mag. And I've done it before. I had some gameplays here posted on my YouTube channel showing that this gun, it was just very good and uh, it was very underused by the way most of the people were concentrating with the PDWs and the MP7s and the Vectors while I'm over here with the Scorpion Evil taking out people it was just amazing and also by the way it was the last gun to unlock in the SMG division for Black Ops 2 and it was totally worth it it had a good amount of range a good amount of accuracy I just can't believe it but after the updates of February 2013 the weapon went to shit it was just too shaky, the gun wasn't making the amount of damage that I was expecting, and it just sucked from there. But before that, the gun is legendary. At number 3, we got the MP7 from Black Ops 2. Now this weapon was a great all around weapon, short range, medium range, and long range. This weapon was just very stable, the rapid fire was perfect, you didn't need you didn't need to add the rapid fire at all. The silencer, the, the quick mag, it was all perfect. It just let me do whatever the hell I want in Black Ops 2. I was managing to uh, take out enemies from 1v1 situations. The hip fire was so accurate. Even with all the updates from Wonder Hard that pretty much screwed up every single weapon out there, the weapon MP7 is still one of the most solid SMGs you can ever play with here in the Call of Duty series. I seriously think that this, this could have been my number one weapon of all time. It's just that, um, I don't know, after the end of summer of Black Ops 2, I just didn't feel the same with the Black Ops 2 thing because of the updates, so it was kind of affected by the updates. And um, yeah, there's some other weapons that I have, my top two, that have not been touched by updates and they're still pretty good. But the MP7 right here could have been the greatest of all time. It's just that if the update wouldn't have happened, you know, this weapon would have been number one. But overall, I think this is one of the best weapons that I've ever created that's pretty much all around. At number 2, we got the most legendary SMG of all time from Black Ops 1, the SMG that brought me to the top 10 of both Domination and Team Deathmatch in the leaderboards for a whole week and a half. The SMG is called the AK-74U. A lot of people will tell me right now they disagree. Now, the way I had this weapon set up was with the rapid fire, the perks were lightweight, Slide of hand and marathon and i know a lot of people can't use it because people are just going to start saying it's pretty inaccurate it's not that freaking you know it doesn't have a lot of range you know i don't need range what you need to do is rush their asses with all that speed that you have and all that rapid fire that you have you don't need range 
This is the most perfect SMG for short range. You just can't miss. The gun is way too powerful, especially without a silencer. This game in Black Ops 1, I never used a silencer at all. I just love to rush. I know I can take down the enemy pretty easily because the AK-74U allowed me to. In one gameplay, I managed to get 98 kills and 18 deaths. There were several gameplays where I went over 90. Several, more than 10. There was uh, maybe like at least 20 over 80 kills and more than 40 over 70 plus kills on gameplays, especially versus clans. I took out 15 versus clans with they had like golden guns and stuff. I took them out pretty easily. A lot of people would report me. A lot of people would send me messages. They would tell me on the mics that I fucking suck. You're bum rush, whatever. I don't really care. Because over there, I'm like <laughs> fucking gaining stats like crazy. My highest KD on Black Ops 1 was with the AK-74U. And the KD was 2.64. For a whole two months. So. I have a lot of stats behind this gun. I have a lot of history. And every year in Call of Duty, I always wish... The AK 74U would come back, but they never do that. Sadly. So that's why, guys, this AK 74U deserves my number two spot because it brought me a lot of legendary stats and also brought me into Call of Duty. And I just wish I would have started YouTube at this point because I would have been more famous. I would have had like over a million subs and I would have made X Jaws, Wings of Redemption, and Woody's Gamer Tech look like shit. That is fact. But oh well, too bad, too sad. At number one, we got an SMG from Modern Warfare 3, the SMG who, which pretty much allowed me to join the clan and then only to be kicked out at Black Ops 2, even though I brought the clan up to like rank 50 in the whole world in the leaderboards. An SMG who brought me at least 50 kills per gameplay daily. The weapon is called the P90. I know the AK 74U brought me legendary stats and maybe put me on the map for a little bit, but the P90. Pretty much has to be the most solid gun that I've ever used in the whole Call of Duty series. There's no other gun compared to the P90. If this gun were to come to Advanced Warfare or maybe to Black Ops 2 or maybe to any other the Call of Duty, it will be the most OP weapon out there in the game. The reason why is because the way they have it set up is with the perk Stalker. That's pretty much the main key of this class setup. And then the, the attachments that the P90 had was a silencer, rapid fire, and range attachment with all these three attachments and perks the gun becomes the most solid weapon the most powerful sneakiest weapon you can ever use in the whole call of duty series great for short range medium range and long range that's what the p90 had that's why every single freaking year in call of duty i'm always trying to compare every single gun to the p90 because this is what i want a gun that can be slotted in every single range but i haven't found any and that's pretty much sad maybe the asm can kind of compete with it but the sad thing is you can't use a silencer on it so i don't know every year i'm trying to find out a way to compare it to the p90 you know any other smg out there but there hasn't been none and also extra stats for the p90 i have committed over 100,000 kills with the p90 I'm pretty sure of it because no other gun have I've, I've overused so much than the P90. I'm pretty sure I have thrown in more than 100 hours with the P90. It was just an all year round uh, gun and it was, it was pretty much solid. It was too solid. And I can't believe a lot of pros don't use this gun. It was better than the MP7 of Modern Warfare 3. So that is it guys, that's my top 5 list, so you guys disagree or agree, let me know in the comment section. If you guys want to leave a dislike or a like, leave a like and uh, I will appreciate it more than a dislike. But I know that a lot of people would disagree with this top 5 list because everybody got their own opinions. And th by the way, this list was made by my experience, that's why I did not mention Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare 2, neither World at War. So that's why they were not mentioned guys because it was only based off my experience which means I started off in Black Ops 1. So that is it. Leave a comment, leave a like, tell me what's up, and I'll see you guys later. Subscribe for more Call of Duty and FPS games.